In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write a program that calculates the balance of an account after a certain number of months. The user will enter the starting balance and the number of months to calculate. This text box right here is called text box starting balance. The second text box below it is called text box months. And this label is called label ending balance. I have already made the form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the calculate button. And I'm going to need a few variables here. Actually, I'll make, uh, let's see, decimal balance equal to 0m because we're dealing with decimals. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that uh, the user puts valid input in the text boxes. So for that I'm going to say if decimal dot try parse Try parse, and what I'm going to try to parse is the text box. The text box starting balance, comma out to balance. I'm going to try to. And because we help enough, we have to open up two of these. So okay. So if that is successful. I need to add the text up there. Okay. So if that's successful, then we're going to do something. So I'm going to write the else first, meaning that it's not successful. So since it's not successful, I'm going to display the error in a message box. Let the user know what they're doing wrong. Okay. So if the first parse works, then we're gonna do another loop, another if statement to make sure that they put a valid months value. So we're going to say if int and I'm going to need a int months I'm going to initialize it to zero. Okay. Months. Okay. So if int dot try parse that's going to be text box months dot text um, using months okay so if those two if those two if those two um, parsing succeed then I'm going to calculate the balance but for right now I am going to do the else part meaning that that the uh, month conversion did not work. So message box that show please enter a valid number for months. 
And notice that it has to be an integer. Okay, so both those parsings are successful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to write a for loop. So for int i equals 0, while i is less than months, i plus plus, and then we got a, a, a two open and close curly brace. So let's say that that you earn one percent per month. So I'm going to say that. That balance is equal to balance times one point zero one. That is assuming that you're getting 1% interest each month, which is uh, it's hard to do really, but uh, just, for, just for this just for purpose of this uh, this example, we'll do it like that. Uh, for some reason, let me see why. Local variable decimal balance. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I need to make this an M. Okay, because we're dealing with decimals, that's why I need to do that. Okay, so balance equals balance 1.01. Okay, so this is the for loop. So after it's looped however many months, then we're going to display the final result. So we have to do that out after the for loop. Okay, so this is the for loop right here. So we're going to do that after the for loop. So we'll say, we'll say um, label, label ending balance, label ending balance dot text is going to be equal to balance dot to string. And we'll put in here, I think we could put a two in here, meaning that two decimal places. So that'll show two decimal places. Okay, so if we try this out, let's say we say that the starting balance is a hundred dollars, and we're gonna go for twelve months. So, so two. So uh, let's see, 100. Okay, um, that might be a little bit off. Let me. See. Uh, that's a little bit off. It should be larger than that. So it's 1.01 m. Uh, I'm not sure why it said two. But it's balance equal balance times 1.01 M. And you do that for 12 months. Oh, okay. I think I know where. I think this part here is uh, a little bit off. Okay. So I just, I just got, I'm just not gonna, I think N2 is what I want here. N2. Would that work? Or maybe it's. Okay, let's see if that'll work now. I just want to get to two decimal places. So I'll say 100, 12. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, so that's what I really wanted to do. So the main points of this demonstration was to show how to use a for loop to calculate the balance for 
an interest rate that's um, a fixed interest rate that's one percent. Uh, you could change this to five percent, six percent, but this is just one percent per month, which is really hard to get right now, to be honest. If you had twelve percent, uh, that would be if you had an account that was earning twelve percent a year, which really is hard to find. <laughs> But the main point of this was to show you how to use the for loop to do that. So that concludes this video.